Welcome to tutorial number three of Man Win Win implementation. This video will teach users how to register stock items, from consumables such as light bulbs to spare parts like tyres or lubricants like engine oils. Before we register any stock item, it's necessary to develop or adjust the structure that will help codify all these items in Man Win Win, which is designated by Stock Item Coding Standard. To access it, We'll go to the Configurations menu, click on Materials, and then Stock Item Coding Standard. Again, we have a tree structure with three levels. The first one is the class, the second the family, and the third one the subfamily. The structure must do the following. Allow the user to coordinate all stock items necessary for maintenance, be able to perform quick searches through it, and avoid registering the same item twice. In different subfamilies, ManWinWin comes with suggestions for the coding standard. However, the user can change it and develop their own coding standard. For example, to create a new class, we must select the stock item coding standard and on the button New, fill in the code and description for this new class. To create a family inside this class, select the family and again, on the New button, Fill in the necessary code and description. Lastly, to create the third level, repeat the process on top of the family that has just been created. By clicking on OK, we now have the three level structure created and we are ready to register a new stock item. Under the materials module, on top of the stock item coding standard, we'll click on the new button. In the window that the software just opened, We'll start by specifying where this item will be located on the coding standard. Once we choose the subfamily and select it, the item's structured code will be created. Now we must fill in the description, as well as the unit in which this item is measured or sold. We also have to insert an estimated unit cost for this item. Additionally, we can attach an image of this item. In the coding tab, we can choose to manage this item with a different code, like the manufacturer code or an external one. Under the specifications tab, we can fill in the specifications of this particular item according to its subfamily requirements. And lastly, in the notes tab, we have a text box where we can insert any notes relevant for this item. Once we click on OK, this item is registered. For similar items, we can use the repeat feature and create a new item very quickly. Selecting the item that we want to repeat, by right clicking on it, we'll choose the repeat option. Automatically, the software will open a new item record with the new filled in code only necessary due to the change in the description and any specifications that might differ. When we click OK, the software will ask if we want to repeat any documents as well that might be linked to the item. When we click on OK again, the item will be registered. Let's see how we can relate stock items with equipment. With the right click on top of the item, we'll select the option Items Where Used. In the window that the software just opened, we'll click on the new button and select from the registered equipment the one that we want to relate to this stock item. For example, this chiller. We can also specify the quantity of this item that the equipment can use. By clicking on OK, we just created the relation between this item and the equipment, which can be accessed on the equipment menu as well. It is also possible to attach documents to stock items. By right clicking on top of it, we'll select the documents option. Clicking on the new button, we'll fill in the form with the document code its description and an attachment of the document. Finally, we'll click OK and the document will be available in this software. It is also possible to extract a set of reports, either by printing them or exporting them. By right-clicking on top of the item, select the print option. Let's see, for example, the data sheet of this item whereby if we select the preview of it, we'll access a report with all the item data. We hope that this tutorial was useful 
and we invite you to watch the next video which will teach you how to create maintenance plans.